Uh, did this game change how you view Josh Allen? How I view him, no. How the rest of the media should, the vast majority of the media, it, it should change it. Do you think it will? Uh, well, we'll see. Like, here's the thing. What they – the Bills made an offensive coordinator change during the year because they decided we don't want to get Josh Allen's best because with that comes his worst. So instead we're going to lower the ceiling to raise the floor. That is what they did, that and they worked. did it in that game, and it worked to a degree, but it changes what makes him so special. It, it changes what makes him in the running for the second or third or fourth best quarterback in football, wherever you think he is. What it did to me, Greg, dead forever, it was the nonsense. Mahomes Allen, Brady Manning. That's gone now, for the record. Brady Manning, the idea was Brady has the rings, Montana has the MVPs, Brady has the wins, Montana has the stats. Peyton, also, yeah. Manning. Uh, did I say Montana? Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Manning, Manning is right. what I meant this whole time. My apologies. Brady Manning. Thank you, bro. Uh, but Peyton won their third playoff matchup after losing the mm -hmm. first two in the other guy's building and did it in starting fashion. And so we just do, Greg, a tale of the tape, Mahomes versus Allen for their careers. All right, stats. Well, it's Mahomes across the board. What about accolades? Um, well, let's see. It is, we can show the accolades, I hope. Okay, it's literally Mahomes in everything, and there's a lot of zeros there. And by the way, he's 0-3 against him in the playoffs. So Brady Manning, Mahomes, Allen is nonsense. It is, and so I, I hope the rest of the media, Greg, joins me on the obviously correct side of that argument. I, I think, Nick, that... It, I don't know if it changed. I, I, I liked what I saw on Sunday um, from Josh Allen. And I think Joe Brady's done a really good job with him. Now, they gotta, they, it's got to improve. And this is why I'm not so much on firing Sean, Sean McDermott now because the injuries on defense, see, they played well last half of the season with, that, with all those injuries. And Josh Allen, the turnovers that he's cut down on, that he's, you know, he's playing smarter to me than he had throughout his whole career. He's not making as many reckless plays. Now, what you got to find is how to get the combination, which they should be working on this offseason, is how can we get the long balls, the dynamic right. Josh with the smarter Josh. Had they hit some of those big plays yesterday, you might be feeling like, oh, we got it. Yeah. But that's what they need to be working on. And so I, I thought it was impressive what Joe Brady has done with him. Let me, last thing, the one game when they won six out of their last seven, including yeah. yesterday's loss, the one game he threw for over – no games he threw for 250 yards except one against Miami – and he threw two turnovers. Well, that's, two my, turnovers. that's the point. So he had 300 something yards against Miami, yeah. but two interceptions. So that's a they got to find that, that happy medium. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Brew. I, I, I don't, this didn't change how I view Josh Allen. I think he's still that type of player that you want to have if you're just saying, what quarterbacks do you want and what do they provide? Well, you're going to mention a lot of the things that Josh Allen does. So he still provides you that. I understand what you're saying as far as you got to <coughs> let him be that guy because the highs are as high as they can get for any quarterback in this league, but the lows are about as low as they can get for any quarterback. When I look at him in this game in particular, I don't know if he played smart. Like, mm. he, he, there was moments, but he has to be smarter. And, and I say this because you're playing against Patrick Mahomes. That last drive that I saw with him, I felt like the throw that you say he underthrew, I think he got hit and it kind of yeah. fell short. I, I feel like you got to play with that. Within mind, Patrick Mahomes is on the other sideline. So oh, yeah. there's no doubt in my mind, you take – you take the digs yeah, underneath yeah. route, yes. and you hold the ball, and you keep it away from that guy that's on the other sideline that has burned me with 13 seconds right. on the clock. Like, those types of things is where I feel like he has to take the next leap in order to beat that guy that's on the other sideline wearing the 15 right. in red. Okay. He had no big plays. No plays over 20 yards. Yeah, it's the fourth time in his whole career that's happened. They, they, I mean, like you said, Drew, the only game he's had monster numbers, he had the bunch of turnovers. But if Stefan catches that one, maybe it's a different story. Brew, were you impressed by the bake show? I don't know about impressed, but he played well. He, he yes. played well. Yeah. And Baker has shown me, and I think he's shown everybody, you can win with Baker. Thank you. Like, like, really. I mean, he's not a top, obviously not a top quarterback. He's probably like a tier three. I, I would argue. How many guys three. in each tier? 
Yeah, six-ish. Okay, I mean, that's fine. You know, yeah, like so he's, he's somewhere from middle. like 13 to 18? I mean, he – look, so uh, – I'll take being it. Being from Cleveland, I'd love to have him in Cleveland right now. You yeah. know, so I, I think Baker, he shows the moment's never too big. The last interception, you know, you're trying to make something happen. I mean, Baker was fine. They went further – then they should have gone, That's right. and they had no business winning Sunday, and they didn't. So Baker was fine. Big show. I was very impressed with Baker. Very. I was very impressed with Baker. And I'm not going to sit here and act like all 17 games. I just watched every single snap of Baker Mayfield. But these last two weeks in particularly, to watch him in his maturity as a leader, the way that he talked to his guys on the sideline, yeah. that said a lot to me. Even when they were down, he didn't waver – with the task at hand and what they – he believed that they could get done in Detroit against a team that was going to put up points. Clearly we saw that. Baker Mayfield made every throw possible except that last throw. Mm -hmm. Like what – the chemistry that he and Mike Evans have been able to establish – it's very impressive. Mm. And in the way – in the manner of which they've been going about their business, he's putting the Buccaneers in a position where they're going to have to make a real decision. Like – He's going to get paid yeah, that's by right. the Buccaneers. Yep. They don't have another option. Yeah. Because I mean, your yeah. guy, who I'm not going to mention, okay, no, who's been sitting on behind him all year. Yeah. All year. Go ahead and mention. Uh, he pushed Baker. He got the best out of him. Not, right. I mean, have you but, seen uh, Baker play like uh, this? Let's not bring him into this. Uh, go ahead, Wilds. Did, did you want to say something? I'm just glad we haven't mentioned Kyle <laughs> Trask. <laughs> uh, uh, no, my, my only thing was the question for you is be honest. Like, is good good enough for the Bucks, and can you actually win a Super Bowl? You Baker, I, listen, or you're just kind of yeah, like, I mean, be so great around that you. is, he, you would have to have an outstanding roster around him to win a Super Bowl with Baker. Like I, my, I fought for a long time that I thought Baker was good. And remember when I did those three categories of quarterbacks, the great ones, the good, and then the bad ones? He's, to me, on the upper echelon of that good, which sure. really is you're going to be a chameleon to your surrounding to talent. What was so impressive to me about what he did this year is that Bucks team was stripped down yeah. Yeah. because of the salary cap right. issues. They did a full reset, and for him to be able to do that, I thought the drive at the end of the first half, oh 92 goodness. yards in a yes. minute 20, was awesome, and I think he does inspire guys because because yep. he plays so hard. He's getting his ass kicked yesterday as far as the sacks, and he's tough. Yep. So I, I agree with Greg. If the Bucks try not to pay him, somebody would pay him. Yep. Not top of the quarterback right. market, no, but – Spot track yeah. says 27. No, I think three years, 100 million. Okay, 33. 33.3? Yeah. Good math. Good job, Wilds. Repeating. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.